plateau looking across the stunning Hertfordshire countryside. You can just in the distance St Mary's Church, Ashwell. So this is St Mary's Church in Ashwell and I'm here to see two historically important pieces of medieval graffiti, both from the 14th century. So we go in. So the graffiti we come to see are important because one captures an event in history and the other is uh, a depiction of the cathedral in London, for which burnt down in the Great Fire of London. Let's try and find them. So today, graffiti is generally seen as both destructive and antisocial and certainly not something that should be either welcomed or encouraged in parish churches. However, that attitude is relatively modern, but during the Middle Ages, graffiti appears to have been both accepted and acceptable, leaving many of our medieval churches in England and cathedrals quite literally covered with inscriptions, often written in Latin or only English but often quite challenging to read and to find. A bit tricky to find. So here's the graffiti, a worrying word to start. Pestil or pestilence meaning plague. So it's in Old Latin, so it translates as there was a plague. One hundred, one thousand, three times one hundred, five times ten. So that's thirteen fifty. That translates as the year thirteen fifty. So there's a pitiful, fierce, violent plague departed. A wretched populace survives to witness in the end. A mighty wind. Morris thunders in the year in the world thirteen sixty one. So back then they thought that the plague was transmitted by an airborne virus and not from fleas or rats. So just next to the Black Death graffiti there's an image, an etched in graffiti of a church or a cathedral that historians think is old St Paul's Cathedral. So whoever drew this or etched it in uh, would have maybe visited London, seen Old St Paul's, uh, maybe came, maybe lived in the village, came back and then etched in the, the cathedral into the stone. So this is the cathedral that burnt down in the Great Fire of London of 1666. It originally had a wooden spire that came down in a storm in 1561, so this no one knows when this was etched in, but sometime between 1350 and 1561. Uh, during the Great Fire of London, the cathedral was covered in scaffolding as it has been uh, repaired by an architect called Christ Sir Christopher Wren, or Christopher Wren before he was knighted. Uh, people put their possessions in the crypt of Old St Paul's, thinking it would be safe as it's a stone building but well, unfortunately it burnt to the ground. This church or cathedral on Ludgate Hill in London from 604 AD right up to the present day. Interesting, could be a shield maybe. Let's have a general look around. It's a lot of graffiti, that's an interesting one. Odd, not guns. A lot of graffiti is just people's initials often and the dates. Sometimes you get things like this which are we believe witches marks. Keep going, that's an interesting one. So 
IB 60, Which is Mark, and you can see faint ones as well. Don't know what that is, could be not sure. It's an interesting one. Fifteen seventy two. is interesting. Uh, could be a witch's mark, it's got holes. Very interesting. Interesting. Thomas. It's over Oversham. Eversham. 1857. Neva Modern. 1954 there's some graffiti and it translates as the corners are not joined correctly I spit on them and we believe that's a criticism written by a dis guy, disgusted architect some more graffiti here which translates as the archdeacon is an ass ascribed graffiti of a church don't know what church could be this one And another image of a church. So this more, some more graffiti here. Uh, it translates from Latin. It means it <laughs> translates as drunkenness breaks whatever wisdom touches. And a little uh, little scribe drawing of a face of someone. 